tonight for homework, I would like you to take notes um, from this video and put them in your lesson seven and eight lesson packet. Today we're going to focus on lesson seven and lesson eight. Lesson seven is distance on the coordinate plane, which we've already done some before of. We're only going to do the first three in your table. We're going to calculate the distance of line segment AB by finding point A, point B, and then the distance. Point D is, or point A is negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so you go over on the x-axis to negative 2 and up 8. Point B, if you start at the origin, is over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and it's up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is 9, 8. The distance here the eights are the same, so we're going to cross them out. And negative two and nine have the have different signs, so I'm going to add their absolute values. Nine plus two is eleven, and the proof of this is the absolute value of nine plus the absolute value of negative two. Okay, so let's do B and C together. Okay, B we already have. That's point nine eight. C is over 9 as well, but it's up 2. They both have the x-coordinate 9 in common. And 8 and 2 have the same sign, so we're going to subtract them. So their distance is going to be 6, and we prove that by saying the absolute value of 8 minus the absolute value of 2. An educating question will pop up right now in this video, so try it and see if you can get it correct. Now we're going to move on to lesson 8, drawing polygons on the coordinate plane. So I'm going to draw this first one, 3, 2, 3, 7, 8, 2. 3, 2 is right here. That's point A. 3, 7, if I start at the origin, over 3, up 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's point B. And point C is over 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, up 2. Okay, if I connect these lines with a straight edge, I have just created a 90 degree angle. And your packet is going to ask you to find the area of it. So I hope you follow my direction and do base times height divided by 2. The base of this figure is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And 25 divided by 2 is going to give this area for this tri right triangle 12.5. Okay? So let's flip to the next one. I'm going to flip all the way to number 5 on your packet. You want to follow along. Number five is right here. Actually, I'm going to do number four on this, and then we're going to do number five together. Okay, number four gives you um, five points. So let's plot them together. P is over one, down four. Q is over 5, down negative 2. R is over 9, down negative 4. S is over 7, down negative 8. And T is over 3, down negative 8. If you connect these points with a straight edge, you get a one, two, three, four, five-sided shape, okay, which is a pentagon. And now you have to calculate its area. And I hope you are thinking about splitting things into triangles like we learned in class. And I'm going to split it into three triangles. I hope you do the same. This first triangle has a base of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and a height of 2. 
So 8 times 2 is 16. 16 divided by 2 gives us an area of 8. This triangle has a base of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units long and a height of 1, 2, 3, 4. So 8 times 4 is 32 divided by 2 is 16. In this last obtuse triangle has a base of 1, 2, 3, 4 and a height from the very top to the bottom of 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 times 4 is 16 divided by 2 is 8. So when you add the areas of all three of these triangles, your pentagon has an area of, oh, I should have carried a 2, 14 plus 8 is 22, has an area of 32, okay? So number 5 is very challenging, um, and I'm going to ask that you want, I'm not going to do it in the video, I've changed my mind, but I'm going to ask if you want to do it, you can do it for extra credit, okay? I'm only going to do one more in your exercise packet. I'm going to come down here and do number one. Okay, number one, you have to plot all these points. So over four, up six, this is point A. Over eight, up six, this is point B. And you always connect them in the alpha order that's presented. Over ten, up two, this is point C. Over 8, down negative 3, that's point D. Over 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down 3 is E. And F is over 2, up 2. Now well, this is, should be using a straight edge tool to be the most accurate. Okay, we have just made a hexagon, okay? So watch what I do to find this area. So first, let's write it. This is a hexagon. Okay, and I am going to split it into four triangles. Okay, triangle number one, base times height. The base is four. The height is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 times 4 is 16 divided by 2. This triangle has an area of 8. This triangle has a base of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Its height is 1, 2, 3, 4. 8 times 4 is 32 divided by 2 is 16. Now, this triangle's base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Its height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 8 times 5 is 40 divided by 2 is 20. And the last one has a base of 1, 2, 3, and a height from top of the shape to bottom of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 3 times 5 is 15, divided by 2 is 7.5. So you have to add the areas of all four of these triangles together. 7.5. To come up with a total area for the hexagon of 51.5. Let me just double check my math. 14 plus 7 is 21. Carry the 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. Beautiful. Um, and that's all I'd like you to bring to class tomorrow. And have a great night.